Morning, welcome back in on this Saturday morning. Look at all the wonderful people we have with us. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? It's Sandy Lampy, of course, San Diego Home Garden Lifestyles Magazine, our pet expert. And is that a Prada you're holding? This is. Or a is that a Gucci? This, this is a Tory Burch. Am I styling? You are styling. All right. Are you wearing your Carrera glasses? I am wearing my Prada glasses. Oh, those are nice. And we all know how much these cost. They cost a lot. But. And that's the event. Hold on one second, though, because your friend over here. Yes. You gonna put those on? Well, she was, Chanel. She was just saying that the sun was in her eyes. Oh, I thank you. So go ahead and put on the Chanels. Yes, there you go. How did they look? Better. Oh, they look great. <laughs> and they match your outfit. Yeah. Dan, okay, not so only are these fabulous bags for yes. auction, we also have vegan bags. How does that work? Well, I, I asked it's, Brooke about this, and this is, work, whose bag is this? This is a Stella McCartney bag, leather-free for all of our animal-conscious uh, attendees at our upcoming event. It's fabulous. We have over 150 leather-free bags. It looks like leather. It does. It, feel, yeah. it feels like leather. Yeah, and Stella, of course, is the daughter of Paul. Yeah, yes. Paul McCartney. Yes, and sir. Very, yes. And very talented, I might add. And a very talented designer. So tell us what this is about. Well, this is a, this is in Rancho Santa Fe. Right. At this fabulous estate. Actually, San Diego Home and Garden, we did a whole layout on this estate. Mm -hmm. And you can come. Anybody, you have to register. Even me? Even you have to register online. It's the only way you're going to get out there. Okay. Okay. And it's $10 a person. Mm -hmm. And we have all these fabulous uh, bags and baubles. And we're going to introduce the dogs in a minute and tell yeah, you what will. Face is about. But. Yeah. What's a bauble? A, this <laughs> is a bauble. Jewelry. <laughs> Here we go. That's this a bauble. Is, would you like to try it on? Why not? It looks like I've it would look great on you. I've never had a bauble on before. <laughs> all I right. don't know. That's kind of stylish. That's Tory Burch, right? Yes, it looks like Tory Burch. So, <laughs> all of these are for auction, right? Food, wine, fabulous estate, tour of the estate. So, Brooke Haggerty is the director of FACE. Tell us about FACE and these wonderful people that came today with their doggies. Oh, with pleasure. So, the FACE Foundation is a San Diego nonprofit that provides financial assistance for emergency veterinary care. So, when you have a pet who becomes seriously ill or injured and you can't afford to save your animal's life, it's what we call economic euthanasia. So, we partner with over 100 veterinary hospitals around town, all of whom give us at least a 25% discount, and we save these animals animals from an unnecessary euthanasia when their owners just can't afford the expensive cost of surgery. And I think the thing is is that people don't realize how often this happens. Exactly. This happens a lot. Exactly. We actually just saved our 1,000th life last year. Thank you. And 1, we are thousand? We are already at almost 1,200 lives saved at this point, and that just wow. happened in September. So we have to bring in the money to make this happen. And this is our fifth annual Bags and Baubles event, yeah. silent auction of handbags, jewelry, accessories, sunglasses, watches. Can you talk about some of this stuff? Because it looks pretty fancy. Oh, absolutely. So we're going to have over 400 handbags available in the auction. We have designer names, Kate Spade over there. We have uh, the vegan bags. It's really a price point for everyone. And again, this is actually our first year doing sunglasses. It's very exciting. We're growing. I like and them. it's mm -hmm. just a good fun idea. event. Mm -hmm. It's just so much fun. And all the proceeds go to saving animals' lives in our community. Now, how much money have you raised? Uh, the Bags and Baubles event raises over $100,000 every year, and the foundation has actually raised over $3.5 million oh to save lives in our community. In five years. In five uh, years. It, well, no, the event, yes, every That's five years. Five. FACE was established in 2006. We're going to be 10 years old next year. Wow. Wow. What a great deal. So what this a is difference a they've made in how yeah. many lives in our community. Yeah. And we have two success stories with us today. I was going to say, who are, these, who are the kids down here? So these are two of our happy success stories. We yeah. have Riley, the pug mix, and Sadie, the cocker spaniel. And I'll let uh, these guys tell you a little bit about their experience with FACE. Yeah, hi, good morning. Good morning. What's your name? My name is Amanda. This hi. is my son, Dominic. Hi, buddy. Hi. Say good morning, San Diego. Good morning, San Diego. <laughs> good man. He's got a nice voice. Thank you. So what's the story? Um, Riley actually took a trash can dive and uh, helped himself to a corn cob, and oh. uh, which got stuck in his intestines. And uh, Face was generous enough uh, with the help of their amazing donors to fund his life-saving surgery, and we could not be more grateful. And you couldn't have afforded it? Oh, definitely not. Just the diagnostics alone yeah. was all we could afford, afford, and just the thought of not being able to save him because we couldn't afford it, it was just heartbreaking. And you know, as pet owners, we don't really think about these kinds of things right. happening until it does. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and we are just beyond grateful. There are no words. I mean, we've been given more time with him, and that's something we could never put a price on. Yeah. What do you think about this little doggie? Is he your pal? 
Yes. Yeah? So what do you do with your dog, like, when you're playing? Do you pet him? Uh, you just pet him? Yeah. What about throwing balls or anything? Yeah, but he doesn't really play. He doesn't really play. <laughs> yeah. You know why? Because he's chilling. He's just hanging out, man. He's just chill. Good morning Good to morning. you. How are you? We're this good. beautiful, beautiful dog. What's your name? I'm Hannah, and this is my son Hunter. Hi, Hunter. Hi, Hi buddy. How's it going? So, who's your who's your doggy? This is Sadie. Hi. That's uh, my dog. Is that your doggy? Yeah. Yeah. This is actually his uh, emotional assistance animal. My son has autism and ADHD. Oh, okay. Um, and it helps him deal with his daddy, who's always deployed, who's currently deployed right now, serving overseas. Who's in the military? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, what does your doggy mean to you? Why do you like your doggy? Well, sometimes I throw a ball and she runs and gets it, but she never they never drop it. They never drop the balls, do they? No, well, they never give it back. Oh, they never give it back. So we have to train him. Zoe, the one who will take everything, and Your she other takes dog. it under the yeah. bed, the mommy's bed. Oh. They can get under my bed because it's made out of wood. It's made out of it goes all the way to the floor. Yeah. So you can't get get it in the bed. Mm. Well, you are sure are a handsome young man. Thank you. Thank you. You sure are. And a great are. looking dog. And a great looking dog. So wh uh, what was the story? So How our other dog happened to jump up and accidentally nip her tail when my husband was holding her. Oh. Uh, Sadie proceeded to basically chew off her tail. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, she was still a puppy. Woof. She was just a Woof. year old when she did it. Um, it was a random freak thing. Um, and Faith stepped in when we couldn't afford the surgery, and they paid for the whole thing. Oh we are forever indebted to Faith. They saved yeah. my son's best friend. And that's why you're involved in the fundraising yeah. effort, so you other know, people can have the same thing. Dan, this is like one of the worst moments for a pet owner. If you're standing at a hospital or a vet, and they say, well, you know, we think we can handle this. We think we can fix it. It's going to be 8000 It's going to be 10000 You're just going... What? It was. I, I immediately what? start crying. Yeah, yeah, you do because it. I mean, that's a year's worth of mortgage for a lot of people, exactly. right? Exactly. And what a horrible decision to make. Yeah. Right. It is a terrible of decision. Whether if you cannot yeah. take care of your pet. Well, thanks to these guys, we don't have to make that decision. I know. And they've saved over twelve hundred. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I, I almost smashed the dog you saved. <laughs> and he didn't even respond. <laughs> he didn't even respond. He just moved to the left. He says, "All right, uh, I'm used so, to this." We have to talk about the date. Okay, quickly. Okay. This is Rancho Santa Fe. Right, Sunday. Sunday, April 26th at a private estate in Rancho Santa Fe from 1 to 5 p.m. You can register online at face4pets.org, and that's the number four. So face number four pets.org you can register online if you can't attend you can buy raffle tickets we have amazing raffle packages you can buy those tickets and possibly win even if you can't make it and uh, we appreciate all the support we can get and Dan you mm -hmm. cannot go to this event unless you register online online is it online it's the is only it. way you can do it yeah all right well I'm enjoying the baubles is that what they are I, Bob yeah. I, I knew they'd be your, the ones you'd like yes <laughs> mm. Mm. we'll be right back